So there are some people who have been changing their diet recently and making videos about it and that sort of thing. Some people coming from raw to four and they're doing starch solution or starch solution to raw to four or you know, a whole lot of different videos like that. And that is normal, okay? That is normal. And do I hate these people? No, I don't. You know, I've had Tumblr questions of people saying, you know, oh, you must hate this person now because they've done this and, you know, they used to do raw till four or they used to eat more fruit or now they don't, they eat more cooked. And I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. That's life. People change. People want to experiment with other things. I understand that and I'm totally supportive of that and I've done that myself in the past as well. That's fine. You know, I don't hate these people. I just want to make that clear because a lot of people, you know, will, will comment, you know, as if they're me and say, oh, Freely's going to hate you for this now or, you know, yeah, Freely's promoting eating disorders and all of this shit. And I just want to say that is fine that people under the vegan umbrella, they try different things. Of course, I would expect that and I encourage that. You know, one thing I just ask is that people are respectful of, you know, the lifestyle, say they came from raw to four or they came from the raw food diet, you know, just respectful of the diet and not blaming it because that is not being accurate. There's so much to take into consideration. You know, what lifestyle did you come from? What problems did you bring with you to, like, say the raw to four lifestyle? What was your metabolism like? Were you dieting at that point? I remember when I came to this lifestyle, I was dieting a lot. I was like a yo-yo with my weight. I was starving myself. I had bulimia. So I was bringing a lot of shit to this lifestyle that I had to heal from. And oftentimes we have to get bigger. Is if we've been dieting, we have to let our body relax. We have to get bigger before we get smaller. That's something that a lot of us have to remember. And a lot of girls don't take that into consideration. You can't just come to the perfect lifestyle and think, woo, everything's going to be cured. I'm going to be perfect. Everything's going to be fine. I can just eat this way and I don't have to pay back the debt that I created in the past. Remember that. Also, there is something to consider, which is doing it correctly. You know, not everybody does this lifestyle correctly. You know, they're not following the guidelines correctly. They're just like, yeah, I'm doing Rotor 4, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But it's nothing like Rotor 4. So I think that's important as well. You know, if you're going to do a lifestyle, do it properly, learn how to do it properly, then follow the guidelines. And especially, you know, if you want certain results, you've got to you know, follow it to a T, all right? You've got to be, you know, just laser focused on what it says in the book. So do I hate these people who are changing their diets? No, of course I don't. That is natural. I encourage that. You have to, you know, prove it to yourself at the end of the day. You have to try different ways before, you know, you come back to what really works. So yeah, I just wanted to say a few words on that and that's it. So that is my video for today. Hope you guys are getting those bananas in. It's great to be back home. I'm really, I'm loving it being back home. <laughs> Fuck van life, seriously. <laughs> van life's not that bad. But I am very happy to be home. And I will see you guys for the next video. Love you guys. See you soon.